Nice to meet you. Trevor. No, my name is Dr. Hu Ver. Um, you may know we are conducting a government survey in order to determine the mental health of um, up and coming generations. So thanks for coming in. Um, do you understand what's going on? Yeah. We do. Sort of. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Some of these questions may seem obvious or personal, but it's important that you answer as honestly as possible. You may answer with a simple yes or no, or with an added explanation, whatever you feel. There is no wrong or right answer here. Do you understand? I do. <sighs> no. Not particularly, but... Right, first question is, do you engage in any obsessive or compulsive behaviour? Yes. I don't care to elaborate on it, though. I don't think so. Certainly not. Can't think of anything now here at the moment. If you fell in love with an animal, would you feel you had the right to marry this animal? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, I think the love between a human and an animal is is something special. Well, I haven't fallen in love with an animal yet. I suppose if you really love a person, you'd want to marry that person. If you really love an animal, yeah. Depends what kind of animal then. Depends on how strong the love was, yeah. I'd imagine. Do you believe you have special extrasensory abilities? In other words, the ability to see a person's presence, or feel a person's presence? I think everyone has that extrasensory ability, whether they recognise it or not. Yes, because uh, I'm very freaked out at the minute, and I can sense that it's because of you. Yes, I do. I can sense there's somebody behind me right now. I don't give a fuck. I'd imagine I have, yeah. Yeah. Um, I can feel people's presence. Yeah. Have you ever been addicted to porn? Uh, yeah, well that was the obsessive compulsive behaviour that we discussed earlier on. Is it, would, would you equate that with a heroin addict? It's as addictive. Spanking a monkey. Got into the bestiality. Mm. Got into a lot of extreme things. Mm. So it's definitely addictive. Has it taken over your life in any way? To an extent. I can still function. Have you ever done swanking, walking, wanking? No. It's when the disorder gets out of hand. Could come back to me if, if you start swanking. Thank you. Can't answer that truthfully. Uh, no. Is that an honest answer? To this day, I think he was pretending to be asleep. Me, the laptop, or kind of, or a couple of these days. Do you tend to choose jobs that are below your skill level? It takes away a lot of responsibility if you work in employment. That's below your ability, I think. Any particular job that's um, below your skill level? I was a hooker for a time in Shanghai. And, I mean, I'm an educated guy, you know. It says in your CV you're a nuclear physicist, mm, Christopher. That's correct. Why did you become a hooker? I don't know. Again, it could be related to the porn addiction. I tend to choose jobs that have money fast. Yes. Yes, I do. That's just pure laziness out of me, though. I don't know. Sleeping with women for loads of money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not really skilled in anything anyway, so any job is a bonus, really, for me. Do you find yourself unaffected by praise or criticism? No. I think we all have egos, so I think I would be affected by, um, by one or the other. Unaffected? Yeah. No. It's been really unaffected. Kind of, say la vie. <laughs> of course. If you could change the world, what would you change about it? The laws relating to animal marriage. The weather. World peace, of course, would be number one. Mm -hmm. And it'd make every girl look like Jessica Alba. Everybody has Mondays off. And Fridays off. No money. Are you a human being? No, I'm a human going. What's the difference between a human being and a human going, Christopher? Rather than being stationary, I'm constantly in flux. I am. Last time I checked. You should. Sure? Just this morning. But yeah, I am. It says I'm the bird cert. Mm, you can't lie apparently about that, so. Okay. Official document. Yeah. Am I a human being? I think so, yeah. You think so? 
in the sense of human beings, I think I am one, but what's a human being? What's an alien? How do we know we're not aliens and human beings are something else? What feels like the best way for you to express any pent-up feelings or emotions? Aggressive, angry, wanking, usually. Anchoring? Yeah, Anchoring. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good psychological term for that. Oh, really? Yeah. I apologise, I wasn't familiar. I like to write it down on a piece of paper and uh, walk around until I find a house that I don't like the look of and I just post it in the letterbox. True physical violence, I presume. A little bit of exercise, maybe go to gym or something. Play five side football. That's always good, it's better than wanking and getting caught by your brother. I don't know. Show when you're happy, show when you're sad. Laugh when you're happy, cry when you're sad. Are you plagued by suspicions that other people may be watching you? Yes. Yes. Um, I, I think I do have a certain amount of paranoia. No, I don't think so, okay. Not, that, not that I know of. As I said, I felt the presence of somebody behind me, and I feel like he's watching me. And they're fucked up, like, making a show of yourself and stuff. I wouldn't have any doubt. I fairly, I feel strong about that there is an eye on us all the time. Even now? Who knows? Okay. Do others see you as being cold or distant? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think I'm a very warm person. No, I think they see me as a warm, nice person. I'd be a very warm person. Do you find it hard to concentrate on one thing for a long time? No, no, I don't think so. Two things for a long time? Such as? A rabbit dancing and another rabbit watching TV. I would find it difficult to focus on both of them. You have the, the sex. No, you've said enough, thank you. Okay. Okay. Not off the top of my head, but there's a few things that I, yeah. David. Sorry? Do you find it hard to concentrate on one thing for a long time? No, no. Can you concentrate on two things for a long time? Yes. Not one thing, though? No. Three things? Yes. Yeah, fuck. Definitely. <sighs> Is your appearance or behaviour considered eccentric by other people? Uh, again, you'd have to ask other people. What would you consider other people? Uh, well, you, doctor, are another person. No matter what you do, your mother always thinks that things are eccentric. She thinks you're mental, does she? Yeah. Sometimes, with a few drinks, I tend to get a little bit crazy, you know? Yeah, fucked up would be the word people in the US most of the time, I think. If I get very drunk, I get very eccentric. That's why I stay away from vodka. Have other people accused you of being cruel to animals or people? They've never accused me, but I consider shoving my up my dog's was cruel, so they didn't have to tell me it was cruel, I think I think I knew that already. No. I just don't say that I marry an animal like him. Cruel to people, not animals. I'd say I kind of love animals, I'm a lover of all animals. How far would you take that love? I'd sleep with my dog. Do you consider your needs to be more important than the needs of others? Uh, yes, definitely. I'm number one. Number one. Number one, yeah? Yeah. Depends on what's better for myself. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. I think about myself all the time, mostly. Look after number one. Definitely. Do you think the Irish government are honest, hard-working men? No, no, certainly not. With all the recent revelations, tribunals, etc. Cowboys, doctor, cowboys. Cowboy doctors? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, totally. Down to the ground. Backbreaking. Serious lads. That's a no. Capital letters. No. They're losers. They're a joke. Do you often see things in black and white terms? With no grey in between? To an extent. I like to be able to see all sides of the stories and all the little bits in between. The yellows and the greens. Pretty black and white answer. No. I don't. Yeah. I'm not going to elaborate, are right? mm. Uh, are you often uninterested in the feelings of others? I'm not very empathetic with people at all. At the minute I am. Sometimes. Well, if it's like your girlfriend or something and they're talking shit, you, like, you just switch off and don't really want to listen to it, but you pretend you're listening and nod your head. But then really, you don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. No, I don't know. <laughs>
When you are talking to someone, do they sometimes have difficulty following your train of thought? You'd have to ask them. Um, Doctor Who, Ver. Do you? Uh, what? Yeah, I've been crazy. Uh, and, um. If you were starving, would you kill someone in order to feed yourself? Certainly, certainly, I'd feed on their dead corpse. It depends on what they have that I could eat. I had to think about that. But yes, I would. Have you ever murdered anyone in order to feed yourself? Yes. Uh. No. Yeah. If he had a Snickers or something in his hand. Are you focused on order and perfection? Chaos. I like my hair to be perfect at all times and like face cleanly shaved at all times, you know? Yes. Perfection for myself because I'm always looking in the mirror and fixing my hair. And Depends on what mood I'm in or how drunk I am. Do you wish to leave behind a legacy? Human slash dog spawn of some sort. That could be my legacy to the world. Yes, but I don't know what sort of legacy that is. I have a child. Or yeah. invent something. Having a child and inventing something is loosely the same thing. I think I have a legacy left behind already. But I've never met them. Not really, no. Well, I was looking at them on the internet now, they're going dear enough. Have you ever been in jail or done something that could put you in jail? Until the laws of animal over are altered, then I suppose I'm at risk of being incarcerated every day of my life. I have been in jail for the thing I did, but that's finished now, unless that's what this thing is about. Like. It's finished, but it's done. Seven years ago, like, I mean. Yes, but I don't have to state where it was, do I? Off the record. But it's never off the record. You, you're leaving the camera running, please. Next okay. question. Once a week, I'd say. Maybe twice, three times a week, sometimes four times if it's a fucked up week. No. Would you treat a female in the same way you would treat a male? Females are sexier than the male, so they need to be treated as such. Like a ripe melon. No. 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 No way. How could you? No. Totally different. No. No. Do you often feel uncomfortable in social situations? I'm feeling quite uncomfortable now, Doctor. Is it the chair? It's you. It's me. What's uncomfortable about me? I think it's your piercing gaze. Depends on the social situation. Mass? Yes. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now, to be honest. Definitely. I'm kind of a socialist. Would you rather be the best you can be, or just be rich? Be the best I can be. Mm -hmm. And rich. If I was the best I could be, I'd just be rich. Rich. Both. Not really. Do you ever fear you may say something stupid in a social situation? No, I wouldn't be afraid of it beforehand. This is the first social situation I've been in in six months. I always do. Stupid things all the time. Oh yeah. Always. Do you have any intimacy problems when interacting with your friends? I've got the love of a good dog at home and I think that helps me in my other relationships with human friends. I'm not intimate with my friends. I think that's the reason they're my friends. My female friends, yes. Males, maybe with a few drinks. <laughs> you know? Do you ever steal things from stores or people's houses? Yes. Um, you think that's okay to do? I've already stolen a pen from your office. Yeah? Yeah, and regularly I go through people's garbage. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I haven't found it yet. Still haven't found what you're looking for? I have climbed sea walls as well. I borrow things. I do bring them back. The packaging might not always be the way I borrowed it, but I'll bring it back. Is this relating back to the other question? About... Uh, no, no, sorry, no. That's an honest answer. Yeah. No, that's an honest answer. I think I've stole a couple of partners and a few of my mates, but... Not a thief. Have you ever exaggerated an illness or weakness in order to get attention? I thought I can recall. 
there was a queue in a shop and I pretended to have a cough so I could maybe get ahead of somebody. But I, they, they ended up not having what I wanted anyways. Doesn't everybody do that? I'm actually not feeling too well now at the moment. Can you get me a glass of water? No. Broke me leg. <laughs> it wasn't broke. Have others ever accused you of being arrogant? Not to my face. Maybe behind my back they have. Yes. Next question. Uh. No. Yeah. Do you avoid working in teams because you're convinced that others are too careless and will not work to your standards? I have low, low standards, so that wouldn't be an issue for me on the team at all. Well, you'd have to see me in action. I couldn't just tell you that and you have to believe that like, you'd have to see me in action to know what I'm talking about. Like. Working with teams, I always feel like I'm the best. I'll be the best in the group and everything. It's all about me. That's the way I think about it. Like in football, I wouldn't like passing the ball to somebody else. Yeah. Do you often get stuck in the details while missing the larger picture? No. No. No, Doctor. No. 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 Sometimes. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Well, it depends. On the picture, like. And the details, I suppose, of the picture. No, we don't. No. Don't know. Yeah. Do others accuse you of being rigid or stubborn? Um, rigid in a physical sense or in an emotional way? In whatever way you want it to mean. Well, sometimes when my <laughs> is hard, I suppose you could say I'm rigid in a physical way. Well, not that I've talked to anyone about that. Look. I have to be stubborn to get the best out of situations, you know? Well, that's question shit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, do you have a hard time throwing away things, even if they are old or worn out? I tend to let things gather before I chew them in, definitely. Anything in particular? Um, children's corpses. You can't use a deodorant can as decoration when there's no deodorant left in it, you know what I mean? Like, so, see you later. Plus, it's, it's like a little game of basketball, you know? Depending on how big your bin is, obviously, because some of them are tiny. I have an attic full of stuff I will probably never use again. But I like to keep them just in case. Could use them 20 years down the line, you never know. So I fucked them away. Yeah, I'm a harder. What advice would you give to future generations of this world? Love your dog, love each other. Get out. Get out now, get out while you can. Don't even come in. Have fun. And don't stress too much about the little things. How's that? Don't take life too seriously. It's all a bit of crack at the end of the day. Don't get stuck with one woman. You didn't invent the Hoover, did you?